Okay, here we have the Lenovo K4 Note. I uh, received it today from Amazon. So here is a simple, very simple packaging. A small box we got. Okay, and here is a K4 Note. So here is the Lenovo K4 Note for you guys. Uh, has pretty good uh, screen very good display colors are really good it's not too much uh, over saturated and uh, the UI feels very smooth very easy to work with the screen itself is full HD and it's really really beautiful screen out there so that you can see the dual front firing speakers uh, we actually have a case on it. The case came with the smartphone itself. Uh, so this is a shiny case and uh, uh, we have a fingerprint sensor here. We have a rear camera, 13 megapixel, uh, dual tone flash. Uh, this is the bottom front firing speaker. This is the top front firing speaker. And uh, here is a front camera. So we'll just uh, remove this case and check out how the smartphone looks without okay, here the is a smartphone without the case so you can check it out it's a polycarbonate finish a really uh, premium looking device uh, there's a small microphone here there's a USB port down there's a small microphone here also there's a 3.5 mm jack on the side we have a volume button and uh, the power button so just press on the power button we're downloading some of the stuff uh, let me tell you the screen is really beautiful uh, touch is really soft and responsive colors are vivid uh, I use personally use on Google Nexus 5 compared to that also the screen is decent uh, no complaints there the UI feels very smooth with 3 GB RAM and MediaTek uh, 6753 octa core processor let's check out some of the themes here so uh, we right now have activated the hot move theme uh, then there is mirage which i think came with a Lenovo k3 note uh, and there's hot move then there's less is more and there's a native general Lenovo theme and there's an android l theme so then there are some lock screens which you can use uh, they are all pretty neat lock screens uh, so that's all for the customization part uh, let us look into a bit on the notification bar and what are the menu options are uh, you can see the Wi-Fi is connected my Wi-Fi name is virus uh, then there is uh, data connectivity on and off button Bluetooth uh, there is GPS airplane mode screenshot secure zone and there is the Dolby sound uh, uh, you can switch it on switch it off from here then there is a power saver mode flashlight you can cast screen and you can you know cast the videos on your TV or other devices. So there's the bar for setting the brightness. Uh, what is this? We can check it out. Oh, okay, these are the settings which you can move the icons from here to here. So if you want something like a night mode or a power up button here, so you can always switch it off from there. Uh, let's move back. Uh, let's move to the settings side. Let's see how the settings are in the K4 note. Uh, then there's an airplane mode, Wi-Fi LAN. Now oh, there is an NFC. So if you are, if you want to have, you know, scan the NFC tags, and so this is the option you'll have to switch it on from here. Yeah. Step counter. This is not very accurate. I tried it. Uh, even if you move the smartphone, uh, it will show that some steps are being and taken. Uh, we find it really smooth and uh, cool to work with the smartphone. And uh, one more thing, I think I forgot to mention in one of the game reviews which we have done for gaming and others so um, I have not experienced any heating on this smartphone so that is one of the best things you can get on so okay uh, the 3d score is pretty good here uh, UX also it scores decent CPU score is a bit low RAM score is also decent if you check out the ranking uh, the Lenovo uh, so A7010 A48 that is the code name for an OK for note scores around 38,788 uh, it's a bit slower than the K3 note 
the K3 Note is actually clocked higher at 1.7 gigahertz. Uh, beyond that, to do, we also tested on on some of the other applications. Uh, let's see, camera application. Camera is very uh, real. Camera is very neat. Uh, it's very and fairly. The options in the camera app are very limited. I'll just try to focus and click some of the. Uh, there is an HDR mode too, and we can just click on one of the images here. Flash is also good. Images are really detailed. Yeah, you know, even, even you can even see the dust particles on the keyboard very, very clearly, which probably you're not able to see on this uh, Canon camera, which I am shooting the video. Uh, it's a really, really detailed. So you will just take a shot without uh, uh, the flash, and let's see how it works. Oh, that's very, very detailed shot clear even in the uh, low lit conditions in this room uh, we are using artificial light so to shoot now the you have to register a fingerprint at the back of the device so once you register it you have to do it a couple of times and the device will actually pick up different areas of your finger so let's lock it and I'll just uh, I'll just press it and let's see how it works so I just pressed it and it's unlocked in a snap. So it's really responsive. I'm not seeing any problems with it. I have been playing with with it for some time. So let's again try it once more. So I just pressed at the back and instantaneously the screen has got on. Okay, we'll start with a small gaming review video uh, for the Lenovo K4 Note. We have uh, the modern combat we'll play player. game and uh, also check out the sound quality of the smartphone how the dual front studio speakers work so I'll just continue here so, uh, I hope you are able to see the screen properly Lights up. So, uh, really good graphics display is mm, decent color reproduction is also good so just skip the movie and uh, move to the game Okay, you can watch the graphics of it here to restart playing so fairly detailed colors are also good let's see if we face any lag out here on me move into cover oh, i'm not pretty good at uh, Android gaming. Uh, I am mostly a PC gamer. I like to play Counter Strike, Battlefield 3, and other games. Take him out. A bit of action here. Uh, let's see what these guys are doing. It's fairly easy so far. So I'm not used to playing it. But definitely no lag here. Oh, very good graphics. Color reproduction is lovely. I'll say the best part I can see is the depth of the color and uh, uh, how the graphics look in the game. Uh, gaming is really really fun I think on this device. There's a bit of lag I'm seeing on the game. Uh, not as smooth as I would have liked it. We'll try it on the Google Nexus 5 also later on. Or we may have to, you know, uh, reduce graphics. Uh, the graphics look good, but there's a little lag on the game. Not a hundred percent. There is definitely lag on the mm -hmm. game. Uh, while you played Mortal Kombat 4, there was no lag, but uh, the fault it is lagging. So the game is too much. Okay, we'll uh, now do a quick review how the Nova 3 works on this uh, Nova K4 Note. Start user ability. Oh, yeah, let's start it. Oh. It's thrown out of the window. Oh, 
The game is working fine here. Not any, not experiencing any lag out there. Oh, the graphics look decent. Really, really good graphics. No one's here. I think it's one of the best graphics game out there. A bit of lag, I guess. I think, I think some of the scenes where there's too much of uh, destruction. Well, the game is working fine. So it's quite playable. I'm now okay for not on the full HD display. So let's stop it here. Thanks for watching. Uh, you can read a full review on candytech.in. Thanks. Okay. Uh, in this video, we'll uh, just do a quick check on the sound quality and uh, how the screen looks uh, while playing YouTube videos. I checked it with the Sennheiser PX80 uh, which I use uh, with my other uh, smartphone and uh, MacBook also. So compared to the sound uh, which we get on MacBook, uh, the sound on the K4 Note is a bit deeper and some of the beats are uh, more fuller. The treble is also high. But overall, I will say there is a hi-fi sound system, the Dolby sound system, which uh, K4 Note has. So it works and it works well. Even while playing YouTube videos and listening on the headphone, the sound quality was better than uh, compared to you know uh, other smartphones which we have reviewed uh, in this price range. Guys, I'll say it's one of the best smartphones you can buy in 12K and uh, you can read the full review for the smartphone on candytech.in thank you